Once the tank is set in its final location, make sure the alignment is confirmed using the mark on the installed alignment sleeve. See the safe tank installation video part one on correct fitting alignment. Remove the two nuts holding in the alignment sleeve and dispose of the alignment sleeve. You won't need it any longer. Remove the protective caps from the plastic encapsulated bolts. Once that's done, we'll remove the nuts and washers as well. The bolts have keepers on the outside to keep them from falling into the secondary tank. Here is a close-up of the nuts and washers being pulled off the bolts. And as you can see, there are white plastic keepers, again, to keep the bolts from falling into the tank. Remove any hardware from the bellows fitting to prepare it for installation. This fitting assembly has been assembled and pre-fit at our factory to make sure it fits correctly. Be sure to keep track of all the hardware that is taken off the bellows fitting because you will need it to reinstall it onto the tank. The hardware will include the nuts, bolts, and washers, gaskets, metal backing rings, as well as the fitting itself. Install the 8-inch gasket onto the outside of the outer tank. Make sure all bolts of the piping assembly are properly torqued, including the flange bolts that connect the expansion joint. This also includes the primary tank fitting and threaded coupler if a boss fitting is installed. Glue in the pipe assembly into the inner tank, push it into the fitting, turning it a quarter turn, and then hold it for 30 seconds to prevent the piping from pushing out, using a good quality industrial grade primer and glue for this connection. Now we want to install the bellows housing and 8 inch split ring onto the outside of the tank. For demonstration purposes, we'll only be installing one or two bolts, but all bolts need to be installed and torqued down properly. Once the pipe assembly is glued into the inner tank and the bellow housing is bolted in place, use a straight edge and check to ensure that all sealing surfaces are on the same plane. Make sure the gasket is installed on the bulkhead fitting, then install the six inch gasket, the black PE plate, and the six inch split ring using the provided hardware. For demonstration purposes, we have not installed all the hardware, but all the hardware must be installed on the fitting before use. Once the black plate is completely installed, tighten the nut onto the bulkhead fitting. We've included a cutaway photo to show you what the glued pipe assembly looks like inside the bellows housing after it's been installed. Here is the completed bellows transition fitting installed on the safe tank. For more information, go to polyprocessing.com and download our installation and operation guide.